All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we created a customer with a customer email. Uh, now we wanna go ahead and send that customer an invoice. We're gonna assume that they owe us money. So what we're gonna do is really quick, I'm gonna click on our customer, Eddie Money Plumbing. I'm gonna click on edit and just verify that the email address is an email address that I have access to just for the sake of the video because I wanna see what type of email my customers are getting, how the invoice looks. So I'll go ahead and click save right here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna go back to customers and let's go ahead and send them an invoice. We have done, we have sold them our service or our product and now we need to get paid. Up top, left here, here's their email, online payment. Uh, right now it's turned off, we'll go ahead and turn that on in a later video and um, request money through our QuickBooks, but for the time being, we'll just keep this off. Net terms, when's the due date? Uh, is it a 30 day calendar period? Is it a 15 day calendar period? Is it a 60 day calendar period? I'll just assume that they know to pay us within two weeks, 15 days. Invoice date, two weeks from that is June 2nd. Okay, so if you have your product list or your menu list, you go ahead and create this right here. You can just type in, uh, for, the, for product industry, we'll just call it, say we sold them a tool set. I have no idea what my company is, but we sold Eddie Money Plumbing a tool set. So we'll call this 12 piece tool set just like that. And we'll say this is a 12 piece, whoa, is that how you spell piece? Tool set 90 day warranty. Keep in mind, this is completely fictitious and I'm making this all up as I go. Uh, price rate, we'll call it $100 or $99.99. And we have not set tax up yet either. So income account, we'll set this to sales. It's not a service, we're selling them a product. So I'm gonna click save. Following the errors occurred, another product or service has already used that name. Okay, how about this? 13 piece tool set. How about that? This is a 13 piece tool set. Save. Okay, great. So next time we wanna add a product or service, we don't wanna fill out all this information and the price. We can just go ahead and go to 13 piece tool set. Now all this information, description, quantity, rate, it's all populated. We wanna do, we wanna sell them two 13 piece tool sets. Enter. 199.98, two at 9900 bucks, 199.98, does the balance for you. Message displayed on invoice. Uh, actually, I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit. What if we want to sell them a service? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these products over here. Say, what do you guys charge for an hourly rate for your service? Say you're a window washing company. Well, we'll call it hourly service. Just like that, this will pop up again. This is our hourly based service and our price of that is 55, we'll call it, how about that? Income account, you can set it to sales, services. Where is services? I don't see it, I'm just gonna leave it on sales. We're gonna save that. And now when we wanna go ahead and populate our hourly service, we could just type it in, hourly service, this is populated. Now, depending on the job, you're probably gonna jump this around a little bit. Um, some jobs might not be $55 an hour. If you work for a friend, you might charge them a little bit less. If you work for a friend, you might not even use an invoice. What if you're using over $55 an hour rate? Well, you just go over the rate and you can just change it. We'll just change it to 75, just like that. Okay, perfect. Message displayed on invoice. How about this? Thank you for your business. Should we get animated and throw out an exclamation point? I think so. Attachments? No. Save and send? I think so. There should be confirmation, online payment, invoices from CH companies. Invoice 101 is saved. Okay, great. Here's a little preview of what our invoice is going to look like. We'll go ahead and create a customized invoice in the next video and create some flair to it. And we'll go ahead and send and close. Now it was sent to chvillageparksource.com. That's my email. I'm going to go ahead and go over to that email. We'll go see what it looks like on the other end, on the customer side. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait for this to reload. It's CH's company. And I am in GoDaddy email right now. It might look a little bit differently on your end. Invoice for CH's company. View invoice now. Dear Eddie Money, here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. Here was the little memo text we filled out. Thank you for your business. View invoice now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Give it a second. Okay, great. Well, we successfully sent our customers or clients an invoice through QuickBooks. Now we don't have we don't have it so we can set up money yet. So this pay now, um, it it's not a link. It doesn't let you highlight it. But the bottom line is that our customer knows that we have billed them successfully. We received they have received our email. So good luck with this. In the next video, we will create a custom invoice, create some flair to this, and then in a video down the road, we'll set up our QuickBooks where we can receive payment, and then we can receive payment through PayNow on our customers then. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you in another video.